You may see huge black smoke fumes, uh, plumes of smoke coming from Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. The fire and plane crash were all part of a larger training exercise. Channel 2's Steve Gelbach shows us how first responders make the drill as real as possible. Per federal regulations, the airport has to do this drill, this mass casualty event, every three years and do it on a full scale. And that's what they did this morning with the first phase, the big fire trucks with the foam spraying coming in to actually put the fire out on this mock up and they use real jet fuel in the second stage and move over with an actual hull of an old airplane and more than 100 volunteers and they had smoke piped in special effects makeup on some of the volunteers more than 100 of them some playing dead some playing injured and they had to do kind of a triage and this whole mass casualty event bringing in partners and other people from as far away as Clayton County to treat this as an actual airplane crash. Got here at 5 o'clock in the morning, got makeup done, and laid out in the sun and played dead for a little bit. It was great. We can do tabletops and we can talk about what we're going to do, but the things they don't experience during that process is the little things that go wrong. I'll let you hear from one of those victims who died, didn't make it, and let you hear from the assistant chief here on how this went coming up on Channel 2 Action News starting at 4 p.m. At Hartsfield Jackson International, Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News.